I feel as though I have given birth to Bella Mia. I definitely feel that she's the little girl that I never have had in my life, and I love her like I love my children. Roseanne Balastny loves her three-year-old Maltese so much that last year she spent around $100,000 on her. And if that wasn't enough, she's even written her into her own trust fund, along with her two sons. Last year we bought a house, another house in Florida, and I decided that that was the time to do it. So if something does happen to my husband and I, Bellamia inherits that house and some other things I have for her. As far as I'm concerned, she's my little daughter and she will get whatever she needs. Um. Bellamia is more than just a pet. I really don't even like using that word. I feel very uncomfortable if I say dog or puppy because, I mean, in reality, obviously, I know that she is, but Bella Mia is like my child. Roseanne's son purchased Bella Mia and gave her to Roseanne and her husband, Walter, in 2011 to help Walter's recovery after a spell in hospital. At this point in my life, I felt like our children were gone, they were married, they were out of the house. But there really was empty nest syndrome in the house. I'm very close to my children. And my son walked through the door with Bella Mia one day. And it was love at first sight. She just became part of the family as you would bring a child home from the hospital. My son brought Bella Mia here and then it just kind of evolved. Roseanne spent about $100,000 last year on Bella Mia, which included weekly manicures, pedicures, hair appointments, outfits, and charitable donations. That's a good girl. Bella Mia gets her hair done once a week, and we also go to the day spa, Bella Mia and I. I bring her to get her nails done, actually at the same place that I've been going to many years, and they only do Bella Mia. It's not a pet spa, it's a people spa. Yay! Yes, oh, Bella, are you ready? Her oh. hair is about $100 a week. Her manicure is more expensive than mine, and it, it takes a good hour to do her manicure, so that's another $25 a week. The pampered pooch always leaves the house in style in one of the 1,000 outfits Roseanne has bought her. Bella Mia has a walk-in closet, her California walk-in closet that we had built specifically for her. She has a bedroom filled with drawers of different outfits and bows and hats and clothes and we didn't have enough room so we've spilled on out now into the clothes closet in the hall. Next to it is a star certificate. My children, my son Rob, gave her her own star for Christmas last year. So there's a star named Bella Mia that's after her. At times, I feel that she is treated better than me, but that's okay with me because Bella, I love her so much, and therefore nothing, nothing that's good for Bella will ever, ever bother me. And Roseanne does not feel guilty about spoiling Bella Mia because she says she deserves every bit of it. She does a lot of really good things. Bella Mia has done more charitable work in her three years of living than most people have done in a lifetime. She goes to the Ronald McDonald House every Sunday night. She goes to St. Mary's Children's Hospital once a week in different nursing homes. Some people may think that I'm very extravagant with the amount of money that I spend on Bellamia, but Bellamia also donates a lot of money. And it's really not all about her pretty clothes and her pretty hair and her pretty ribbons and all of her jewelry. It's about her and her sweet temperament and good nature and all of the happiness that she brings to so many people. And with her finances taken care of, Bella Mia's future seems bright. And I believe the trust fund will take care of her, whether I'm there or my wife is not here anymore. But her sons will take care 
of Bella for us. Bella will always be taken care of regardless whatever happens.